moving on to the second thing is how can I save energy? And the short answer is in so, so, so many ways. <laughs> Um, this is where, again, I really encourage you download the Electrify Everything guide, print out the checklist, put it on your refrigerator. Um, but some of the big, big things, uh, big categories is really through heat pumps, which will cover your heating and cooling, can cover your water heating, and even help with clothes drying through induction stoves and electric cooking and through electric vehicles or e-bikes. Our web tool features several services to help you find tax credits and rebates to make these upgrades cheaper. So I'm going to talk you through some and all of this. How can I find and understand these incentives? So there's four things. I'll show you quickly um, kind of how you can find it on our site. So if, for example, you just got to, where was it? If you got to the end of the green pricing thing, it has these two buttons, solar option or save energy. Those will take you to the other tool. If you're just coming back to the website for the first time, it wants to push you towards green energy or thinking about changing this. But there's this menu button in the upper left-hand corner. Click that and it pulls up our other tools. So that through that, you can navigate to our save energy tool. So let's type in 53158 again to this tool. And there are a series of cards that'll pop up. So first is Rewiring America. They have an Inflation Reduction Act calculator. It's amazing. Um, let me pull this up real quick so you can see it. These are the folks who make that Electrify Everything guide. They're, they were involved in the lobbying for the bill. They produce extraordinary uh, educational resources, funny videos, everything. They are huge proponents of electrification. And so if you type in your zip code, your homeowner status, you can be a renter, your income, tax filing. They're not trying to collect this. They're just trying to help you identify which of all of these. So there's all these state rebates, all these tax credits that the Inflation Reduction Act is rolling out. And this helps you narrow down which ones are going to apply to you. And then you can click in and learn a ton about why these individual things matter, how you can utilize them, how do you sign up for them. And unfortunately, one thing you'll notice is the rebates all say late 2023. This is because the rebates are going through the states. States are going to implement the rebates. And a lot of them do not have currently, do not have the capacity to, they are staffing up. They are creating plans for how to roll out these rebates. And then they have to get federal approval before they start to give away that money. And so it's estimated that's gonna take a lot of uh, most states until later this year, possibly early next year before that's available. So look for more guidance from your local energy nonprofits uh, as, the, as the year goes on. Going back to our tool, um, another resource there's out there is Desire. I mentioned that North Carolina State University, we've got two cards here. Um, one will show you only rebates. One will show you all incentives. The reason why we have two cards is we pre-filter uh, the database for you when you go through our tool because it can be kind of a pain to narrow everything down just to stuff that's sort of relevant to you. But even when you search for all incentives, you can see 19 programs show up. A lot of these don't apply to actual residents. Um, so a lot of tax credits, a lot of loans, a lot of these things are for residential builders rather than residential residents. Um, but there are some things that are a little hard for us to, to filter exactly to what you need just because of the way the database is set up. Um, to make things a little bit easier, we have the rebates only card since that will hopefully narrow down how many things show up. And it does. So you go from 19 to four. Um, and then lastly is incentive find. This is a service, as I mentioned, you can pay $25. So if you want, uh, the simplest way to get a report of everything that's available to you, um, you can pay them, um, and they will produce a report that looks like this. So it gives you kind of a high level overview of what rebates, tax incentives are available to you. It shows you timelines of when things are due. And then, oh, 
there's my timer, I'm over time, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, then you can see your incentives organized at the utility level, state or city level, state, federal. You can favorite things if you want. And then it has instructions on what eligibility is, what it's gonna cost, what the time frame is, and how do you actually sign up for those things. So it's sort of an interactive online report and you have access to that for up to two years and it stays up to date. The other nice thing is if you do go the lazy route through Incentifind, no offense to Incentifind, they're great. Um, we've partnered with them and we actually get a, a small commission for anyone that uses uh, this referral link that we recommend. Doesn't cost you any more, but it does help us. Um, so, but you can you can find a lot of this same information through Desire and through Rewiring America.